I am doing a house tour, you guys. I did move to Florida. I'm about to bust this down. For real, now I'm trying to sit up here and judge me while I eat. So what y'all gonna do about it? Nothing. So just leave me alone. Girls, we have been out in four days. Prime time. What's up, pretty girl, pretty boy gang? Today, I am doing a house tour, you guys. I did move to Florida. Sorry, I'm playing. <laughs> Got your ass. No, I didn't move to Florida, but y'all know I'm from Florida. I was born in Florida, Pensacola, Florida to be exact. That's where I am right now. And I'll, I'll explain to y'all why I'm here and what's going on. Because there's been a lot going on that I haven't updated y'all with. But I wanted to give you guys a house tour because this Airbnb is freaking amazing. Now, y'all know usually when I come to Pensacola, I'm always staying at the hotel. Like, I'm always staying at the same hotel every time. So, I was like, this time, let me switch it up. Plus, I had some Airbnb credits from Airbnb hosting. So, I decided to use my credits and it covered my airbnb stay this time so i thought this was perfect i found the perfect spot perfect location it's close to everything and everywhere like everything that i need to do and like oh my god the pictures like does this place no justice like this place is literally perfect and it is like so cute so i'm gonna go ahead and start oh my god let's go ahead i wish i had somebody to do this for me but we're gonna do it like this so as you walk in this is the living room So freaking cute. I'm gonna invite Jasmine over so we can have a movie night. But yeah, so this is the living room. This is the kitchen as you come in. All right, guys, so this is the kitchen. Um, I love the fridge. Oh my God, the ice is so freaking good. Y'all know I love me some ice. I love me some ice. Mm. Okay, so this is the kitchen i love the sink there is a nice set there's condiments there's a coffee machine the microwave i love all the stainless steel appliances i feel like that is like a perfect touch to a kitchen they have you know you need coffee syrup they have plates bowls they have a medicine cabinet if you need like tylenol things like that like this is so crazy because it's giving me ideas for my Airbnb because I don't, you know, I think of things, but sometimes when you do Airbnb, you don't think of every detail. So that's why sometimes I like to visit other Airbnbs just to kind of see like what kind of things that they add. But they have a dishwasher, which looks super cool. There's more things down here in the cabinets, which is like pots and stuff like that. And yeah, everything you need to wash dishes. They have, there's like a wash, like a, like a cake mixer over there. Now I'm gonna show y'all my favorite area. This right here is like my favorite area of all freaking time. Like yeah. So I can like come over here and I can like do my work and study and shit like that. Yeah, bro. So freaking awesome. So this is like a seating area. It's so cute. It reminds me of like sitting at a restaurant or something like that. This style is called something and I can't put my, I cannot exactly call it, but I feel like when I get, like when I build my house, I want to build something like this. Super, super cute. Like it looks very much like of a family wanting to sit here and eat. I could feel like a family vibe right here eating, but it's also like a good little cozy study area, girl. Like I be over here editing and stuff. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah! So this area over here, you guys, is what it looks like from the other side. When I'm standing in the kitchen, this is what it looks like. So you have the door, you got the couch. Now, I'm going to share with you guys the decor in this house because I feel like the decor actually is what adds the uniqueness to this house. So I believe that the owner is an artist and a lot of his art is inspired by like I don't want to say like medieval it's more so like it reminds me of like mardi gras a little bit but like you see like the faces that they make like the faces that he puts on the um the the artistry really 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 unique and i ain't gonna lie it's one of them it's one of them in particular that actually scared me and i was like oh my god i don't want to sleep in this room ah! up here he has some pieces of like dragons and things like that i thought that was super cute 
and then there's one over like the kitchen area where I was just sitting which is this one um, I believe he took this picture himself and he blew it up and put it on a canvas and there it is so let's go down the hall <laughs> So we're gonna go down the hall, you guys. This is the laundry room. Laundry room looks super cute, oh my God. Laundry room, here we come. So there's storage. Well, there's like cleaning stuff in here. Um, umbrellas, if you wanna go outside and sit. Ooh, smells good in here. Ooh, I like that. The owner said that there was some towels inside of this that were being dried and they are clean and dry so yeah that's that on that there's a back door i haven't gone out there yet but i'm gonna check it out that's probably gonna be the last thing i check out all right next room so this room okay this is where i saw the scary painting y'all i was like oh my god so yeah that scared me because her eyes are so like piercing to the soul i was like man i can't sleep in this room but this room is super cute it has a tv it has um this is the bed i thought the bed was super cute and then you have closet space yeah always good on the closet space then this is the next room which is the bathroom we got some cute little house pictures on the walls but this is the bathroom the first bathroom which is the guest bathroom hey y'all i love the sink so cute and then you have the shower where you get clean and scrub your ass. This is the second bedroom. Now I didn't know this was three bedrooms. I love that freaking guitar up there. OMG. Another cute picture. I feel like this room is more for kids because as you can see like they have one of the Disney movies up there. And the guitar from the movie is actually the one up here that I think he created as well. One thing that I like about this Airbnb, there's chargers everywhere. So like you don't have to like look for plugs and stuff like that. Ooh, what's in here? <gasps> oh my god! It's a linen closet! Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing in my room? This is the main bedroom. Oh, whatever that case may be. So this is a desk here, which is where you can study and stuff like that. Um, the bed is super comfy. I slept in it last night and girl, yes, I had me all good night sleep, okay? Now this picture wasn't as creepy as the other ones. I was like, yeah, and she ain't looking dead in my soul. <laughs> She's looking the other way. So I said, yeah, let me take this room. But yeah, so here is the TV. I slept with some nice rain sounds on last night. Got my luggage on there, y'all. I always pack a full suitcase whenever I go to town, even though I'm staying here for only three days, but whatever. This is the shower. I was in here doing my makeup. Or whatever the case may be. Yep, this is where I shower and get pretty. Yeah, so yeah. But I love, love, love the aesthetic. I love the white, crisp, clean, fresh look. And see what's in here. <gasps> oh my God. High chair for a baby. I wish I had a baby. Oh, what a baby. They have, it looks like, mm, looks like they may have some other stuff in here for like, extra pillows comfort and things like that i feel like this airbnb is equipped with everything like i will literally give this place probably a 10 out of 10. oh let's go outside now that's gonna that's gonna be the determining factor y'all earlier when i was leaving because i didn't realize this was a one-way street like duh earlier when i was leaving i um i accidentally went the wrong way i was going the wrong way on the street and like one of the uh like city workers was like looking at me as i was like riding by and i low-key like cussed them out because i'm like what the you looking at like what are you looking at i'm thinking he trying to you know holla at me you know what i'm saying because i just i look so cute or whatever i look so cool and i was like don't be looking at me don't be staring at me mister and like he's looking at me all crazy because he's like girl you're going the wrong way so i realized i was going the wrong way and i had to turn around and then i had to ride back past him oh my god it was so embarrassing okay so we're gonna go outside and see what the outside it's getting oh i can't go outside this way oh i think it's locked okay so how do i get to the backyard all right we gotta figure this out y'all because i don't know how to get outside unless i have to go through the front door okay we about to see i'm gonna go this is the area like the neighborhood and shit oh. so the backyard from the inside so let's try that 
something is not right with this um good luck i'm stuck it won't open ah. okay well i guess we're stuck in here then guys we're locked in we can't see a fuck thing this is the side outside little smoking area there's a gate so i may be able to get through it to, from the gate Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to get outside, but um, I'm actually about to go get me some lunch. So if y'all want to ride with me, and yeah, let's go! What's up, you guys? So, oh my god, I ran into. I'm gonna post the boomerang. But I ran, my hair looks a hot ass mess. Like what the hell going on, Shotty? I ran into um my elementary school friend in a restaurant and oh my God, y'all, it was the cutest, the cutest moment. Like I was like, oh my God, are you such and such? And she was like, oh my God. And we hugged, like it was so dramatic cause she worked there. So it was like, you know, seeing somebody that you ain't seen in like over 20 years and you just finally see them and you reunite. Like it was just dramatic. We were hugging and we were loud and shit. It was like, oh my God we hug so tight like oh my god i just love that's why i love coming back home because you know i see my people and you just never know like my old friends and stuff and it's good to see like how everybody done grew up and how they making out in life and stuff like i just think that it's so cool but yeah i'm going out with my sisters tonight i cannot freaking wait it's her birthday well she just had a birthday and um yeah so i'm gonna be going out with her and celebrating and turning up girl you know how we do we do what we do and i'm so excited because i get to turn up with my sis for her birthday my big sis for her birthday never well i partied with her before but i never celebrated a birthday so this is big for both of us so i'm probably gonna go i got a couple things i gotta do i gotta go get some more toupees and i have to get me a um i gotta get me a head elastic band because for some reason i didn't pack mine which is so stupid i don't know how i how i made that mistake but i'm gonna get me an elastic band i need some toothpaste and then um and then yeah then i'm gonna go home eat and then um get ready i'm probably gonna meet her around 9 30. hi y'all mukbang time Woo! so excited oh my god so my best friend told me about this spot called rust wait red crab juicy fruit oh, red crab juicy fruit what the fuck no Red crab juicy seafood. Ugh, fuck, I can't say it. <laughs> Red crab juicy seafood. Oh my god, that is such a tight, uh, uh, a tongue twister. So y'all, oh my god, it's so heavy. Ooh, and it smells so good. I was gonna wait till I got home to eat, but baby, I'm hungry right now. I'm probably gonna eat some at home too. They got the gloves. Baby, I'm about to bust this down. You hear me? You hear me? I'm finna bust this down in this car. These people probably like, damn, she crazy. She eating in the car and shit. But I don't give up because a bitch is hungry, okay? I got my gloves. Oh yeah, I'm finna mutt. I don't wanna be sitting right here eating in front of these people, but I do not care. I really do not care. What they gonna do to me? What they gonna do? <laughs> got my love you know i gotta do it yeah look you you gonna do it you gotta do it right baby these people probably like this girl's eating in this car i do not care and he is here we go Ooh, let's go all right y'all let's see my best thing is like Go try it, Bestie. It's really good. I'm like, all right, we finna see. We finna see. Because, you know, I'm a big critic when it comes to, uh, especially seafood balls. Now, one thing about it, y'all, I don't eat seafood. I just eat the corn potatoes and the, um, and the eggs out of it. I don't eat, like, all that other stuff. So, yeah. Is this shit hot? Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's hot. It's running my leg. I'm trying to get in it. All right. Mm. Okay. Okay. I think I might taste a little, you know, one, two. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's kind of good. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of good. Oh mm, shit. I do not want nobody to see me eating this. This is bad. I really just wanted to taste it. I'm gonna go home and eat this, y'all, because this is ghetto. This is real ghetto. Like, this is ghetto. And it looks like I just ain't never eat a day in my life. Mm. Yeah. This is what I was looking for. This, this is pretty good. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh, they looking at me? <laughs> I don't care. Look, where am I at home? But I can't go home. What the fuck? Hold on, y'all. I think this person's trying to get through and they can't. Can I get out? Yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Ooh, it's hot. I'm trying to really eat this, y'all. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my god. This is so embarrassing, y'all, and I don't care. Y'all know one thing about me, I do not, I do not be having no shame. I do not be hearing. Cause what they gonna do? What y'all gonna do about it? Nothing. So just leave me alone. Don't run about me. Damn. <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. Oh my God. That's why I like eating on camera. Cause I be eating so messy. I don't care because I'm hungry. Mm. Y'all just don't understand how good this is. Oh my God. And I'ma still be hungry after this. Oh, and they got the Arnold Palmer. Let me see what the Arnold Palmer hitting on. Let me see, hold up. Ooh. Okay, little Arnold Palmer. Mm. All right, y'all finna go. For real. Y'all ain't finna sit up here and judge me. Well, I eat. Hey, you guys. I never told y'all the reason why I was here. I don't know if y'all remember when I had auditioned for um, a role in a TV show. Well, they called me back for a role in another. It's the same production company, um, the same like team. Um, but they called me for another role in a different project that they're doing out here so that's the reason why i'm here and i also got word that they want to work with me on the show so actually i did get chosen for the show so i talked to the director directly and he told me straight up like yeah i've heard so much about you and i want to work with you on the season so i was like oh sh but i'm actually getting ready now jasmine's about to come over i'm gonna do her makeup and then we're actually gonna go see my dad i got my family out here because my my sister's they um they actually lost their mom unfortunately so they had her service today so my dad is actually coming in town and a lot of my other siblings and stuff are going to be here and i'm gonna go see them before um we head over to a film so i'm getting ready girl and i will see y'all later is my camera blurry like what the pretty girl pretty girl game pretty girl pretty girl game if you wanna bad and don't get a bag then you cannot sit with us let me hear you say pretty girl, pretty